None but the Blue Dragonflight are welcome here. Perhaps this is the work of Alex Straza? Well then, she has sent you to your deaths. Hey guys, welcome to this Wrath of the Lich King raid boss guide. Today we'll be discussing the Maligos encounter in the Eye of Eternity. We'll be covering the abilities of the boss, raid positioning, and special tricks you can use to make this boss fight easy. And if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next Wrath of the Lich King video. Now in order to summon Maligos, one member of the raid must have the key to the focusing iris. This drops off Saffron in Nux Ramus. There's a 10 and 25 man version of the key. If you slay Saffron in the 25 man version of Nox Ramus, then he will drop the heroic key to the focusing iris, which allows summoning 25 man Malagos. All right, so Malagos is a three phase fight. Also, he is a dragon. Yes, a worthy call out in case you didn't notice. So tanks, face him away from the raid because he will use Arcane Breath, which deals 20,000 arcane damage in a 40 yard cone in front of himself. And it also puts on a debuff, which after five seconds causes targets hit by the breath to explode and deal 10,000 arcane damage to nearby players. This is definitely not something you want your whole raid getting hit by. However, unlike other dragons, Maligos never learned how to tail swipe, so feel free to stand directly behind him. Maligos will also cast Arcane Storm throughout the fight, which requires healers to raid heal the random number of targets which get hit by this for around 10,000 arcane damage. But one of the most important abilities Maligos has is Power Sparks. Throughout the encounter, a portal will appear which spawns a Power Spark. Now these sparks will move toward Maligos and upon reaching him will buff him, granting 50% increased damage, unless the raid destroys it first. Focus damage on these sparks to prevent Maligos from getting this buff, but also, once these sparks are destroyed, they leave behind a patch of electricity on the ground, which buffs players, increasing damage dealt by 50%. That's right. Yes, go stand in that pool of electricity the boss created. It's good for you. <laughs> Power sparks can be rooted, snared, stunned, and even death gripped, so be sure to use all your abilities to make sure that these sparks do not reach Maligos. This 50% damage buff also stacks, so ideally use death grip to position the spark right where the last one died, then root or stun it and burst it down. These sparks don't have a lot of HP, but they move pretty fast, so you'll need to quickly react once they spawn. Now, Malagos will also use a raid-wide damaging ability called Vortex. He takes off from the ground and creates a Vortex of Arcane Energy, tossing the raid about and dealing 2,000 Arcane damage every second for 10 seconds. Once it's over, everyone will fall and take 10% of their max HP in falling damage. Now, since this is a very healing-intensive ability, there are a few tricks your raid can use to mitigate the damage. Paladins can use Divine Shield, Mages can use Ice Block and Slow Fall, and Priests can use Levitate to prevent the damage from Vortex either entirely or just the fall damage depending on your class. Now once Maligos reaches 50% health, Phase 2 begins. Now during the transition period, Maligos will start to roleplay like any good WoW player would. DPS him as hard as you can while he's trying to RP. Once Malagos finishes his speech, he'll become untargetable and ads will spawn in the sky called Scions of Eternity and Nexus Lords will spawn on the ground, which need to be picked up by a tank. There will also be power overload zones which spawn and will reduce magic damage taken by 50% for the player. Now it's important to stand inside of these power overload zones when Malagos uses deep breath which deals massive arcane damage to the entire raid. But will be reduced dramatically by the power overload zone. Now, as the power overload zone absorbs damage, it will shrink, so be ready to run to a new one once yours gets too small. DPS during this phase should focus all damage on the Nexus Lords, since these are the adds on the ground. Once they die, their disc can be used like a flying mount, but you can also attack while riding it. Now it's important to make sure your melee DPS use these to deal damage to the scions flying above. 
Also, when a player is on a flying disc, they don't take damage from deep breath. So don't worry about, you know, jumping off your disc and getting into a power overload zone. If you're on a disc, you don't take damage, so don't worry about it. It's also a good idea to get as many players on discs as possible to mitigate damage from deep breath entirely. But remember, melee get priority since they can't attack the flying scions without them. Now make sure to use all available cooldowns during this phase, phase 2, because you won't be able to use them in phase 3. Once all the scions, the flying ads, are dead, all players on discs will get dismounted and phase 3 begins when the platform is destroyed and players fall onto the backs of red drakes. Now, once you are on a drake, you'll have a new action bar with six abilities. Your first ability is Flame Strike, a fire attack dealing 1,000 fire damage and awarding one combo point. Your second ability is Engulf in Flames, a finishing move which deals 1,500 fire damage every three seconds, lasting longer per combo point up to 22 seconds and stacks. This is the ability everyone will be stacking to burn down Malagos. As you can see, your drake is sort of like a rogue ability number three is revivify kind of an interesting name a heal over time lasting 10 seconds dealing 500 sorry healing 500 per second and awarding one combo point this ability will stack up to five times and each drake has its own stack so don't worry about this ability not stacking it'll stack just fine so you can have it alongside another drake's revivify and ability number four is Life Burst. This is a huge AoE healing finishing move, which increases healing done by 50% and lasts longer per combo point. Now, because of this incredible AoE heal, the uh, most often strategy is to stack your uh, raid together so that everyone gets healed by this. All right, ability number five is Flame Shield. This is a very important one. This is a finishing move to protect your Drake, reducing all damage taken by 80%, lasting six seconds with max combo points with a 30 second cooldown. Now, if you are targeted by Maligos's Surge of Power, which deals 12,000 arcane damage every half second and 5,000 arcane damage to anyone near you, then you must use Flame Shield in order to survive. So make sure you have combo points ready to use Flame Shield, otherwise it will kill you. All right, ability number six is Blazing Speed. This increases your Drake's flight speed by 500% for six seconds with no cost, just a 30 second cooldown. This can be used to escape a static field, which I will get to. Now, these combo points can throw people off sometimes. Just remember that any time you use an ability that generates combo points on a target, that target has the combo points, and you can only use a finishing move while you are still targeting that same target that you have combo points on. That's just the, uh, the main thing that trips people up is they try to switch targets, then you can't use finishing moves. Now, during this final phase, you're going to need to strafe out of the way when Static Field is casted on you or an ally. This will deal 10,000 arcane damage to anyone within 30 yards, so move out of it immediately to, uh, you know, not die. Arcane Pulse is another very dangerous ability. This deals 30,000 arcane damage to all targets within 30 yards of Malagos, so be sure not to be too close to him when he uses this ability. You don't want to get hit by this. Other than surviving Malagos's three abilities, it's really just a matter of keeping the raid stacked so that healing drakes can keep the raid alive using that big AoE heal, life burst, and DPS drakes keep spamming flame spike and engulf in flames, get a lot of stacks of engulf of flames up to burn Malagos down. Do all of this successfully, and you will have downed the great dragon aspect Malagos, and he drops this loot.